I'm Trevi from Elkhorn High School. As a child, I lived in my imagination, turning minor occurrences in my life into possibilities. Always convinced there was a secret world, a hidden compartment, an adventure right around the corner. I fed my inner galaxies with pages, plugging into an IV of letters, a steady drip of words rolled into me, taking me to new places, showing me new faces, my appetite for books expanded, and so did my worlds. Page after page unfurled inside my mind, but sometimes these books talked about adults, the dull monotony of grown-up life, the people who had lost their imaginations. They couldn't get into the wardrobe. They couldn't go to Neverland. They couldn't see the fairies overhead. They ignored the creatures lurking under the bed. They didn't paint castles on the canvases nestled in their skull. What did they do when they had to sit in waiting rooms, when the conversation lagged? When, but I didn't think too hard. That was far, far away. I promised myself I'd never lose my imagination. That was my ambition. It persisted throughout middle school. Crazy stories, drifting notions still danced through my head. The hours in bed trying to fall asleep left me to leap deep into universes inside P.E. arguably. The dullest class was prime time to let my mind wander. An invasion of sp foreign spies clad in black and my crush saves me. I also earned several volleyballs to the face, but I was elsewhere. <laughs> Back then, I brimmed with colors, a chameleon paint pool of plot lines, characters, cliches, and convolution, but slowly. Reality started feeding into that pool, slowly tainting colors with dark tendrils, reaching and choking my imagination. I am losing it. Perhaps this is the reason loss of innocence is a common theme. But this is loss of wonder. This is absorption into digital world, looking into p other people's displays of imagination. Now, I am not sure if I will find coats in a wardrobe or Narnia. I don't know if I could fly in Neverland or end up heaped on the floor. The fairies overhead might be butterflies, and the monsters under my bed, well, I know those can't be real. This is loss of imagination.